weekend that we've ever had uh, since I've been the head coach. So uh, give them a lot of credit, though. I thought their team offensively, I thought they were they had a great plan. Uh, they spread us out. They had they had some funky stuff, man. They getting in a bunch of what we call ninja formation and lining out and spreading us out, and 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 we're taking our taking a lot of our pressure away. And then uh, we didn't line up very well consistently. We had a bunch of busts, you know, like I said, just uncontested throws, a bunch. And uh, so we got to get that fixed. Uh, but you win by three touchdowns against your rival, that's a good day. Uh, and, and you had all those type of mistakes. So we got a lot. They, didn't, they couldn't run the ball very well. Uh, we, we, we felt like we could win that pretty uh, – we were pretty sure about that coming in, but uh, did not see that – coming tonight in the passing game uh, so uh, but at the end of the day again you win by three touchdowns and and uh, and you come out of it with a lot to correct I think that'll make us better for the postseason uh, I don't have any doubt these guys will, will, will be kind of like our offense was this week to get back to work our defensive guys will be eager to get back to work and correct it uh, you know we're, we're, we're better than that but man give them a lot of credit uh, I thought Bentley played Did a heck of a job of, of just keep it staying in the game and giving them giving their team a chance, uh, but at the end of the day we were just we we were just too strong on offense and uh, and just really did a good job of taking care of the ball and and uh, doing what we needed to do. So uh, a lot of good things. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll enjoy this one tonight and get ready uh, for next week. Uh, this is another opportunity to make some history. You know, four ACCs in a row that hasn't been done. Uh, and ironically, we get to play Pitt, and that's that's these seniors, these seniors that got their 52nd win today, and a 53rd win is the most in college football history. Uh, and ironically, they got a chance if they can win the game to get it against the one team that beat them here at home uh, in their last ever ACC uh, matchup. So we'll be uh, we'll be eager to get back to work on Monday. The players, uh, we'll get back in here tomorrow as a staff and and get started on our plan. We're excited about uh, representing the Atlantic uh, in the uh, ACC championship and uh, a great night in Charlotte. So I know we'll have a great crowd up there. And, and again, trying to, trying to win our 18th title and get back to the playoff. We all know what's at stake. Uh, so we've got to, and again, the good news is we haven't played our best game. We haven't even come close to playing our best game. Uh, we've got a lot that we can continue to improve on and, and we'll do just that. Um, but uh, proud of our team, pr proud of our staff, and, uh, you know, just amazing accomplishment what this team has been able to do. Any questions? Coach Trevor Lawrence just continues to, to break records as a freshman, uh, setting the, the all-time <coughs> Clemson record for passing yards against the Gamecocks. Uh, how, how special is that? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that. Uh, so that's the all-time record. Uh, yeah, he's, he's – uh, they might have set a record too. I don't know what the other side was. It might have been two records tonight. Uh, uh, was it two records? Yeah. Well, there you go. So uh, they they good thing he had that night. Uh, it was a great night. I mean he he's he's amazing. I mean he's an amazing talent. Uh, that's why he's our starting quarterback. I mean he just he, he's he's just special and uh, unbelievable poise, great demeanor. Uh, is is really settled in. Like I said, in making plays with his legs. Uh, but his his ability to attack every patch of grass on the football field uh, creates some problems for people. You know, when you can run the ball and you got guys outside that can stretch the field, and uh, you know he, he just he can he processes everything. He, he for a young guy to really have the command, uh, it's fun to watch. I mean, it, it's just especially that first touchdown he threw to T. Higgins. <laughs> wow. I mean, that was an absolute rocket. And, uh, you know, he's just going to get better. He's just going to get better. He's not going to get worse, that's for sure. How difficult is it to balance the positivity offensively with what you guys want to do defensively? We won in the game. That's, that's the objective, you know. I mean, we're 12-0. and 0. We won by three touchdowns. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Every single game that we play, we always got stuff to correct every week. Uh, but for us, uh, we worry about that tomorrow. You know, tonight is about celebrating the objective. Uh, that's to win the game. We scored 56 points. And uh, like I said, you, you, you win your state championship by three touchdowns. 
uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. And, and even when even the mistakes that you have to correct, um, you know, we, we it gives us an opportunity to get better. You know, so but we we've not coached a perfect game. We haven't played a perfect game, but we keep, keep striving for that and we'll keep working. But it's not hard to bounce that at all. We, we won. I don't care if we win 65 to 64. We win two to nothing. It's it's a W and uh, <laughs> they're all the same. You don't get you don't get an extra win because you won by three touchdowns and you don't get minus a, a one because you only won by two points or whatever. Uh, they all count the same. How much were the defensive problems where the safeties just not getting lined up? Uh, well, we're going to watch the tape tomorrow, but, yeah, we just misaligned a bunch. And some of it was formationally. They did a bunch of some, some unique formation things, uh, especially with what we call that ninja package, and uh, which, which you know, really – you know, kind of confused us in a lot, a lot of ways. But uh, and then we didn't do some of the basic things right either. Uh, so, you know, we'll go we'll go to work tomorrow. We'll correct it and we'll get better. We'll get better. Tavon, um, was he healthy or? Is yeah. He, is he? There's nothing wrong with him. Why? I just he, there were some stretches we didn't play, and I was just curious. No, he played bad. Yeah. We took him out. <laughs> yeah, you got to play well. Yeah, you don't. You got. I mean, you can't just go out there and stink it up and get to stay in the game. It don't work that way. You got to play well. So, I thought Denzel came in and did a heck of a job. Uh, he did a nice job, especially on that. We had two goal line stands. Denzel had a nice play. But, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, he, Kayvon's not going to be real happy with that tape. Coach, uh, two, two straight games without a turnover. How nice was it to see J.D. Davis come up with his first career interception in his last game of Death Valley? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, was that his first one? I, I didn't know. I, th I thought he had one other one somewhere. But uh, that was awesome. Big play. We didn't capitalize. Uh, we had, had we had Maury called for the push off, and then we dropped the touchdown, and then we missed the field goal. Uh, so we didn't we didn't get the the uh, the points off of it, but we got we we got time and possession and all, all that stuff and uh, and some field position. But uh, that was a great play by JD. Trey Trey was sore. Trey's ankle wasn't quite. He just didn't feel confident to be able to do what he needed to do. So we went with JD, and thought JD did a good job. Yeah, but you think. Christian Wilkins deserves serious Heisman consideration, seriously. And what did you say to him when he uh, did the pose thing and death penalty? Oh, I said he'll never run the football again uh, if he ever does that again. I took him out. I took him off of kickoff or field goals the team because, you know, that's selfish. And I told him don't forget who he is and what he represents. Uh, it was disappointing. I mean, that's – I mean, you're kicking the ball from the 20 against an offense that we really hadn't done a good job of stopping. And now you're going to give him great field position. So it was, that was that was poor decision on his part, uh, but a great run, a uh, heck of a run. Uh, but he needs to he needs to, you know, understand that he sets the example for everybody, and uh, we don't do that. It's not what we do. That was a foolish penalty. Shouldn't happen. And uh, you know, so he apologized and moved on. What was the first part? Oh, Heisman? Yeah. Oh, I mean, come on. They ain't going to give him the Heisman. Uh, I mean, I think he's a great football player, but uh, ain't nobody going to give a D tackle to Heisman. I mean, that's great to talk about, but uh, I mean, I think he's as good a football player as there is in the country. I mean, if that's what you're asking me, but he plays D tackle. Uh, when's the last time a D tackle won a Heisman? Never. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Tim Murray when you need him? Uh, he probably doesn't have the Heisman history, but, you know, I, I, I think he's as good a player as there is in the country, but whether or not people would vote for him, the Heisman, I, I, you know, I doubt it. If Deshaun Watson don't win the Heisman, uh, Christian Wilkins ain't going to win it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Sean should have won it twice. <clears throat> this team's changed so much from week one to now. Just what has the growth of this group been like? To be 12-0 and 0 and do what they are, but still have a, a high ceiling ahead of them. Yeah, just just focused. I mean, they've stayed focused. That's hard. <laughs> it is hard. You know, you're dealing with young people, and and to for them to just stay locked in and and, and just fixed on what's directly in front of them, you know, week in and week out, regardless of the opponent, regardless of where you're playing, regardless of all, all these things. That's hard. And so just just their just overall maturity. Uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of young players that have gotten a lot of experience this season. We, we've, we're a much more seasoned team than we were when we started this season. Um, 
we've gotten, you know, uh, our veteran guys have done a great job, but just, you know, guys like Xavier Thomas, guys like Justin Foster, uh, Lynn Jay, Justin Ross, you know, all these guys back in the beginning of the year were just kind of, you know, coming on, Trevor. Uh, so now we're, we're just a much more seasoned, experienced team that has uh, uh, had some adversity along the way. It's not like we've, we haven't had to uh, overcome some challenges along the way because we have. Uh, this team's had some challenges. Obviously, we had drama with the quarterback. We had a former player uh, pass away. Uh, you know, we, we, we've, had some, we've had some things, but this team is very close, very, very close. And that doesn't just happen. Uh, so from where we were when we started the season to where we are right now, it's a team that, that um, has really matured, uh, but, but definitely has not play, played its best game. Travis for season high, 28 attempts. What can you say about Travis in this season? Yeah, that's amazing. Um, you know, he, he, he kind of quietly does it too, you know. I mean, you, you think back to Spiller. Spiller was just, wow, you know, all the time. And uh, for him to break the record for touchdowns in a season, um, and he's had a lot of games where he hasn't played a lot in the second half, or he's had some games where he's only had maybe – 10 touches or something. Um, so he's been unbelievably productive. Uh, unbel I don't know what his total, what was his total tonight? 28 for 150. Yeah, I mean, he, he's just been unbelievably productive per carry. Uh, when you look at his touchdown production and, and again, just his, his yards per play, it's amazing. Uh, but he's, he's just, a, he's become a, 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 a leader for us and a guy we trust. He's a very complete player. And that we just have a really good combination. Uh, I, I mean, I thought Feaster was awesome tonight. It was good to see him kind of with the juice. And uh, he made a he made a ch -ch -ch down there on the goal line on that one run. And I hadn't seen that as much from him. And uh, so that really sets up well for us going into the postseason. We can have you know all three of those guys, um, you know, confident and 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 really. You know, running like that and, and, and confident with our guys up front, um, we'll have a chance to have a strong finish. Coach Hunt had it really this point this season, not keen on just hurry and preparation. Probably needed to improve some. Is that kind of where his performance can come from? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, you know, I mean, this, like I said, he's a competitor and he's a very good player. He's a very good football player. But he had a bad night. Um, and as a competitor, he'll respond. They've tried to execute game plans similar to what South Carolina tried to do on offense earlier in the year. Is this the first y'all kind of seen what they tried to do? Yeah, we hadn't seen many offensive linemen split out there uh, as wide outs. We hadn't seen many of those formations. Uh, you know, really, like I said, positioning took us out to where we it kind of negated some of our pressure. Uh, <clears throat> and then they made some plays, you know, made some big plays. It's a good job. Did you get a chance to give us guys an update on John Simpson? Oh, he's fine. He came back. He's fine. Coach, do you have, do you have thoughts about going for a fourth consecutive ACC championship on the 10 year anniversary of your being named head coach here? Uh, is, that, is that right? Is that December 1st? Who would have thunk it? Uh, <laughs> man, who would have thunk it? Uh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Uh, so that's December 1. Wow. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm more excited about being able to go for our fourth in a row. I mean, I just think that's amazing. It's amazing, you know. And uh, for these seniors to, to say they came to Clemson and went 27 and one at home and 19 and one on the road and won four straight ACC championships and went to four playoffs, I mean, that's unbelievable. It really is. And the credit goes to the players. I mean, they, they, they got to get it done. They they've got to buy in. They got to put the work in. You know they have to they have to make the sacrifice and 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 the preparation and uh, you know the leadership and just all, all that stuff. And um, and these guys have done that. But I, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do you like your percentage playing the four the fourth different coastal opponent in the ACC championship game? Just illustrative of how consistent your program has been. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think just, I mean, I, 
can't speak to the other programs, but for us, I mean, that's that's kind of what our goal was, uh, you know, going all the way back was to just build a consistent program, and um, and and we've been able to do that. You know, I, I go all the way back to eleven. Um, you know, like I said, we won the first ten, first ten game win season, and we won our first league championship, and it was like, you know, it was great, but. I'm just my message to the team. Let's just kind of keep our head down, guys. Let's just let's let's see if we can go get three, four, five, ten win seasons in a row. You know, we we need to become. Nobody's going to consider you to be great at anything if you're not consistent. You know, greatness comes from consistency and longevity, doing it over a long period of time. So I think that um, I think we're a great program, and I think we've earned that through consistency because uh, it's earned. Nobody's going to give you that. You got to earn that. And we've done that with a bunch of different players uh, and a bunch of different coaches and, and so forth. So that is that is what I'm most proud of is the consistency that we've had, not just on the field, but off the field. You know, I mean, we've been top 10 academically seven out of the last eight years, us, Duke, Northwestern, and Stanford. Uh, so not just, not just on the field. It's not just winning, it's how you win. And uh, so the consistency is, is special. And hopefully it's something that we can continue to do. Was it thought to, to sitting on it as opposed to, to running it in for a touchdown? Uh, well, we just handed it off. And, I mean, I can't help they didn't tackle them. Uh, I mean, we just handed the ball off right up the middle. And uh, so we were just playing ball. Can you educate us on disconcerting signals? What, what that is? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was, you know, we make a lot of calls defensively. And you know, move calls and things like that, and guys stem from one front to another, from one gap to another gap, and all that. And that's that's normal defensive football. But Cleveland did a monkey roll, you know, a, a butt roll, and he, he don't need to do that. And that's what they called. I thought it was a little silly to make that call. Uh, you know, I think I mean it wasn't. You know, just go over and tell him, hey, don't be rolling when you move. Just move. And but he he you know. Nobody's ever told us that's a rule. Uh, he, he made them. He moved. He just he just did a he just did a seat roll. Uh, and um, first time we've ever had that call. But great opportunity for Cleveland to learn. You know, don't don't we call it monkey rolls? Uh, no monkey roll. Don't do it. Just move. That's what I told. I was like, what are you what are y'all calling? We we they we stemmed. And he said, that's what he said. He said, well, your defensive end rolled outside. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll buy that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, can't do that. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it.